Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Bloodborne PSX, which is a PlayStation 1 style remake of Bloodborne that covers the initial sections of the game. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood administration. You need only unravel its mystery. There's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Alright, gotta customize our character. Go alone, survivor. Now, I'm not sure how well the mechanics are going to transfer. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> You found yourself a hunter. Press X to interact. <laughs> oh, interesting. It doesn't use analog sticks. So the movement definitely feels a bit different. Or at least it's not using my analog sticks anyway. I'm not sure if that's... I'm only giving it the benefit of a doubt. Could just be exclusive to me. Everything is certainly a lot brighter than the original Bloodborne. Kind of happens when you lack atmospheric effects. <laughs>
Oh my god, my inventory. There's an excessive amount of detail in this. Uh, I'm, I'm really quite amazed. Let's see how this built this is. Blood vials, quick silver bullets. All the items are here. Look around a little. Uh, obviously, we don't really have flowers. We just have a texture. Uh, and it's not like the the PlayStation couldn't do a kind of like low laying flower. They, they they were able to do that. I think it's just a stylistic choice. <laughs> And choose one firearm. Just take the classics. <laughs> oh my god. Check the memory card. Slot one. I wonder how many slots this thing is taking. Our, uh, thing is just a singular texture. Can we only have... Let me see here. I'm curious how they're... Someone handling the consumables? Okay. Now, how they... Oh, nope. We got ladders. I was trying to debate if they're going to do like some kind of skip animation. Yeah, it's pretty... It's pretty in-depth. Walk. There's the clinic key. Now, if I remember correctly, it's it's been a while since I played the original. I think you could... I think the first time I played this, I didn't die to the werewolf. I could be misremembering. So you can never die and go get your weapons. But I think you can get up here, get the key, and get out. If I don't remember, like, climb up a ladder to get the key. But like I said, I, I, I could be misremembering things. Got an item here. Bullet transfuser. Wait, what? Oh, this is that. Okay. Because you can always have five free bullets as long as you want to give up a little bit of health. Okay, unlock this. I will never need that key again, pretty much. Get some more blood vials. Oh, they added a loading screen. Ah. A minor one. Well, like I said, I disabled the option to artificially lengthen the load screens. That's a... Thank you for the hat. That's a thing... It's not. That's one of the things I don't need to emulate. Unless... I think it's pretty rare, but sometimes fast loading screens can mess things up. It's an improvement. I have a hat now. Some more bullets. Yeah, no, it's this is definitely. I'm pretty sure this is definitely different a little bit, bare minimum. Or things just look so different graphically that I'm just not recognizing landmarks.
Now, is this where... Yeah, it's, it's hard recognizing landmarks. Die. Yeah, I don't think there's any luck on. As far as I can tell. Is this... No, that's not a chest. You would have originally like ran up here without a weapon or something. You would have to like try to survive real quick, and then you hit the the save point, teleport in, and that's the way you could like not die early theoretically. Thanks. Can I drop here? I'm pretty sure, but I'm also scared to drop because of the, the PXX style graphics makes everything just a dark void. Okay, I can actually lock on. Weird. Lock on's confirmation button. Definitely got that staring into the void look. That's short draw distance. It adds a certain it adds a certain appeal to it. Um and it makes it makes these drops look really scary. Like yeah. It looks like there's like a jump I can make there. But at the same time, like it looks like I'm gonna fall into the void and die. I probably won't, because I I don't remember how this was somewhat designed, but still. Let me clear out the area first if I do anything too crazy. Yeah! 
Now here's a key thing that's going to be... This is going to come up in the boss fights. Did they emulate the hitboxes and the timing and invincibility frames? Uh, so far, everything feels pretty tight, though. The only thing I saw was missing was the, uh... I believe there was, like, an axe starting weapon. Pretty sure. This should unlock a shortcut of some kind on the way back. I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't remember going down, though, into a void. Uh, here's the, the other thing that's going to be curious. Does loading a screen respawn everything? Because if it does... That actually adds a certain level of difficulty, but also a certain level of, like, farming convenience. If you want to farm, I guess. I mean, this is uh, the starting areas. It's not really needed too much. Yeah, it's just... Just the graphical change alone, I've I've lost all sense of direction from, uh... Where everything was in the original... Check over here first. Oh god, the, the crows are scary as... They, they've become these... blobs of death. Insight gained. Interesting. You instantly consume the insight. Uh, I mean, that's a big deal. You might need like at least one to uh, activate the doll and everybody. Okay, so that shortcut is unlocked. Let's see if my theory about things respawning is right or not. Well, here's a shortcut back to the clinic. And if we want to go level up, we can. I'm 
I'm trying to get the the parry on you. Ah, you can heal just like me. And you can also get glitched out just like me. <laughs> what? Are you are you okay? I'll take it. I didn't get any items, but I got a lot of souls from that. Or blood. Sweaty? It's better than what I currently have. Let me make a manual save. Hello, good hunter. How are you doing? I Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. So they only kept the, um, the initial dialogue. There's nothing here now. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Now they have some dialogue here. Close. Now shut your eyes. See how they put the one inside thing on there? That's cool. It's just, it's just a small touches. There's even a loading screen for here. Three inside. Seven inside. Hmm. Interesting. I had to unlock the transformations. Let's see what the weapon transformation stuff is. So I have to go into the menu and do it. I can't do it manually from like in game. So as a practicality standpoint, we're probably not gonna be messing around with transformations too much. You're gonna like put it before the fight, before you commit to what you think you might need, and that's it. It looks like. Like a weird, purposeful, we're gonna make this a little bit more archaic kind of thing, because that's how it was. Aha! You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am. Gehrman. Friend to you, hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. 
You'll get used to it. So upgrade strength for now, because our weapon skills are strength. We can always add more skill later. Uh, I'm more of a skill person, but and blood tinge. All right, we're back on the road again. Oh, uh, there was an item at the top here. I wanted to kind of... Okay, so the jumping still works the same for the most part. Nice. Let's, uh... Hold up. I don't need that anymore. That is... Not too useful. So last time we went that way. Now let's go back and commit this way, because this is the only route we can take right now. Now I have not seen the, uh... I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be attack dogs. Attack dogs. In the, uh, previous area. Unless this area is it. And they've, like, repurposed things around a little bit? Thank you, I need that blood vial. Always useful. Looks like... Let's see what's going on down here first. Locked. I believe this is a shortcut we've opened up. Yeah, back to the starting area. It's like they've got, like, more poise than their original incarnations. Okay. Is this the werewolf bridge? Shortcut unlocked. I kind of see what's going on now. So it's... I know what the area is, but it's been so segmented by loading screens that it might as well be a new zone. This is actually a good example right there. That's a perfect example. Okay, here's where the attack tags are gonna be. Yeah, there's gonna be snipers, there's gonna be, I think some are gonna throw Molotovs or something weird. It's gonna be attack dogs, and there's gonna be werewolves on the bridge. This is this is the zone. Also, a good place to grind healing items of things early. 
you so desire. Thank you. Upgrade the weapon. All right, let's go. Did some upgrades. Banked in some of my echoes. And we're good. So you're actually seeing some frame rate drops here. This is not a true frame rate drop. You can disable this. This is an artificial one to emulate the hardware, I guess you would say, to make it seem like, oh, this is a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah, that was a complete whiff. I'm trying to debate if I like this or not, though. Let me... I'll, I'm a little scared of going in the menu. Uh, some of the comments on the game page are saying that the menu's a little buggy. So it can crash your game or something. So I'm just going to live with it for now. Hey, everybody! Need to get away from the low... Day of the fire. Frame break. You... There we go. So that's that's the uh so I mean by like the confirmation button is the same as the lock on button. Oh, thanks. You just took out the other guy for me. <laughs> There's dogs. So they took away the one big guy. Oh, God. You always able to smash with that? That's new, isn't it? Seem to have much health as the original version. Feels like you were like a little bit nerfed. Maybe to compensate for the uh Well, let me see something here. I don't think I can go up these stairs anymore, can I? No, I can. What the what the what the A lot of guys with guns up there. They like machine gunned me. This thing is hardcore in this. 
Like, their aim is real good. And there was just one of them. I thought there was multiple. But it was just one, and it just shot non-stop at me. Maybe it has to do with the frame rate. Like, the, the frame rate of the monster is not matching the frame rate of, like, it's artificially trying to make. Or something weird. Hmm. Because you saw that. It, it shot more than once. It, like, boop, 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 boop at me. No, no drop yet. Now, there was two big guys over here. Oh god, the crows. Useless. Two bloodstone shards. Sweet. So they made that a loading screen. Torch. Small tough cocktail. I guess that's why they maybe had it burst through. Or it burst through the original. I just never encountered it. Because I always like caught it from behind over here. Shortcut opened, which would go back to that zone. Not really going to pour in shortcut, but it doesn't hurt. Werewolves, which enough number can mess me up. Or it's dogs. It could be attack. Yeah, it's attack dogs. The werewolves are somewhere else. They're getting close, so. Dog down. Some more blood vials. I wish I keep myself topped up fully. It just really hedges you. Let me see something here. Shoot. No, timing was off on that. The projectile is kind of like slow now and invisible. Oh, there's a loading screen from up here. Hmm. Oh yeah, here's the wolves. Can upgrade my weapon now, I think, again. Now we could cut south, but... This might be dumb. It's about equal trade economically. But we got the blood echoes too, so yeah, it, it it's economically it's good trade. The werewolves probably have all respawn now. And I cannot see anything. I need to get the torch in my left hand. Oh, 
seems like your AI is a lot broken in here. This should be... Now, there was the machine gun guys with the wheelchair. Which is right there. So I believe so. Yeah. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, locking the Ray Bridge, the Cathedral Ward, as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. Is there a loading screen in here? There might be. This is coming back when I mentioned, like, the, the way this is graphically designed, it just changes your sense of direction and memory of the areas. Because, like, this is, for all extents and purposes, unrecognizable. If we drop down, this is where we could have came on. We are basically backtracking to where if you want to avoid the werewolves, I believe, this is where you would have ended up. And that's a loading screen. Now everything's going to respawn. Dope. You always got to kill these things. Inevitably, they're going to, like, get out. Trading out damage for the most part, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna keep this my thing. I might be going back in that building pretty soon. Resident appears to be dead. I don't think you're supposed to be dead, are you? Not yet. That's a loading screen. I'm not sure where I want to commit my exploration to. This leads to like... Let me see, I think this is going to lead to like a sewer. I think the... The spear weapon... Alright, I can even equip this now. It's going to be here. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this now. Oh god. You wanna go? Good for you. Yep, Yarnum Sewers. Now the real fun is tackling from up above. So I'm unsure if we can do a quick switch of weapons. You might be able to. We don't have another right-handed weapon to find out. Yeah, that works just about how I remember it. Lots of werewolves down there. Ooh. Vitality 1%, top hat, skill, blood tinge. Well, it makes it look good. 
Hello there, what's all going on here then? Oh, Aline the Crow. Hey. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Old hunter's mark. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Someone's shooting me. Everybody. Yeah, that's the only thing about this, that the AI is a little bit broken. So we could drop down, but let's go for the loading screen. I think this will take us to the uh, lower sewer area also. This area is considerably worse with the lighting. Because it was already kind of a dark area. Now this is technically lighter, but the draw distance has changed the dynamic of this zone a lot. Because I can't quite scout down because I think there was items that you could get by like dropping the right spot bold hunter's mark It's like I see something going on right there, see. But I can only kind of like look in one direction. Um, I think I'd be good if I... I think I can drop here. Probably better off dropping from the other side. I'm a little worried about overshooting it. I might be better off dropping over here. Like there's like too much forward momentum or something. Yeah, I made the right choice. There, w there was a little bit of momentum. Thank you. Ow. Heal. No, loading screen. Got too close to it. Don't want to be here. I want to explore this area more. This area should be where I dropped items. Uh, I think that's the spear up there. I see on the right. No, that was inside. Got that thing like dang Link. Hey, Brad. What you up to? Ah, we went the whole path in reverse, I think. Calm down. Thank you. Free inside.
Oh god, deadly as hell. They mean so much business. Unlock this shortcut. Who are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? I'm a manly badass hero. I look for my mom. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him, but now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. Really? Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful, you won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. That will be useful later for a very specific boss fight. Let's go back to this area. Back into the house. Because I think there was... Yeah, yeah. A, uh... Save point or more stuff in this place. Bloodstone shards are always useful. I think it's opened the major shortcut to the hunter's dream. And we should be nearing the first boss fight. Okay. This was never a shop out here, I believe, right? <laughs> Lend a tire. So we can actually do this. Here, take my black hood. It's a fine look. <laughs> I don't think I particularly like the ribbons. You get some ribbons later from a certain NPC. Wait for it. There's two of them. They were actually pretty good blood vial farming, because you kill them pretty easily. Number lower area and the door. We are going deep. Basement key. I think... I think this area was in the Stark in the original. That's why it's giving me harder to uh, recognize certain things.
All right, let's drop rats. Well, what used to be rats. Gotta drop to the other side to get the other items. Curious if the I don't think the werewolf's following me. There's the blood spear. Obviously not as strong because I haven't been upgrading this. But I did save some uh, lower tier blood shards for this weapon. Let's see how the scaling is on this. If any major changes, blood spear is only really scaling with blood tinge, so it's not too useful to me in its current state. Uh, it is good to sometimes have it just so you can get certain pokes in that you would not have otherwise. That's about it. I think the scaling was different than the original. I don't remember that scaling only with blood tinge. I believe that was a. Uh, the Blood Cleaver skilled more heavily with Strength, and then the Blood Spear skilled a bit more heavier with uh, Skill. But I could be wrong. I might just be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure. Because Blood Tinge usually was just a scaling thing for uh, weapons. Um, certain very weeaboo weapons. That's a lot of rats. I mean, I'm not sure if I gain anything from coming down here. Oh yeah, no, there's stuffing down here. First off, let me check over here, Mbasa. The sewer key. Is this where I'm going to be attacked by... Well, we'll see. Poison rat. Poison! Not enough to, uh, put me over the edge. Poison rats. Poison water. Don't remember that one. So from software always like the poison zones. Every game one of theirs has poison zones going back to uh, Kingsfield or whatever. But one one in particular I always remember is um, Shadow Tower Abyss 2 on the PS2. That poison zone, I believe, was... It was a poison gas zone. And it was just constant. Like, you just, you just couldn't avoid it. Like, the entire area was just poison gas. And it was just, you know, tough luck. I believe we unlocked a shortcut. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, and there's a werewolf. I think we're gonna hoof it for the poison zone. Yeah, it's just, we're just gonna go through and tank it.
There we go. Antidotes. Sewer key's probably on the other side of the, uh... The thing here. Oh my god. Rats! At this point, it's back in farm... I can farm the healing item more than I can farm the antidotes. I'm just gonna deal. Why is there rats everywhere? Gonna need to do a next zone. No one unlocked a area with a bunch of dogs. Double bear shotgun. Before I can open that door, I might be putting on a loading screen. I have to kill all these rats again. Let's run through the poison. And a dote. Lock this. Shortcut. And while I'm here, I'm gonna look in the corners. Yeah, there's never a zone. Heal up and just go for it. Can always warp back to that zone and go for the door I left behind. No crow. God, there's so much poison. Bark. Which is bullets. That's what I want. Not too worried about you all. Locked by a sewer key, which... I have. Okay, poison zone. Okay. Please stop. Please stop. Please go. Please go. Was this? Let's see what this led to. I have a suspicion where this might be leading, but thank you. Rats. Oh, God. 
That's what I mean by these crows. It'd be business. Crow business. Don't want to go down, I want to go up. That is the pig. So we should be somewhat near actually the second boss. Um, I think you can sketchy skip the first boss, if I remember. There's a little bit of like non-linearity to that. I think that was a death pit. I think that was a death pit. I'm not gonna risk it yet. What? Oh, yeah. You can take either the hard road or the easy road. Basement key. So let's see if this were the... This is where the basement key was needed. Yes, it was. Hmm. Nothing good comes from this place. Except for that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. I stand by my point though, nothing good comes of this place. Before the hunt began, the school of Mensis offered me a commission, one of which I could not refuse. Crow dogs. Dog crows. So I have no intentions of putting you out of your misery. <laughs> Live with what you are. Oh, loading. Let me go back. Let me descend into this obvious trap. A hunter! Ooh, that hurt. You, you are casting spells? That is not... That's not good hunting. I remember, like, reloading. Wow, a double barrel shotgun. Strong. Yeah, I think we can confirm the guns. The guns don't quite work. Uh, the way they originally did. And this one scales mainly with Arcane. 
Um, it was a decent enough weapon in the original. But... Do I want to use it here? I don't know. Usually lightning is good against the... The Elder God linked monsters. Fire is for beasts. It's just... Books and forming me of items that may not be in the game yet. Wasn't dead yet. Thanks for the, uh, throwing knife. Okay. Cleared that. Uh, I'm actually gonna... It's getting a little dark. Black Sky Eye. Hmm. Sure, why not? Loading screen into a loading screen, yeah, it feels like... No, no, it's just a void. Of, uh... Basically, you know... The end of my vision. Bloodstone chunk. Nice. Don't think we're Kansas anymore. I think you... Well, considering we've got a chunk, I think they made it so we can upgrade one weapon fairly high. Because I do have a slight concern that there's like a secret weapon or something like... They inserted a weapon way earlier in the game than you would have otherwise get it. Oh, this was an elevator. Wow, you put an elevator in! I'm easily impressed. Whoa! Hunter! Reload. Yeah, that spell. It is hardcore. That's my first true death. It worked this time. I need to get you like a little bit close, and then I need to like pop with a shotgun for a stun, and then move into a kill. And then back off. Reload my gun. Use that to get in. Whoa, they, they seek out. They seek out. You like to pull away. Conserve some ammo. Heal up. Come on. What are you hiding from? This is a 
this time. Ugh. Can't get you to commit to a fair fight. And the, the sprinting mechanic is semi-bugged? It's a little weird. That's interesting. I actually get you in a good spot. I'm gonna heal up just in case you do anything weird. Pull out from the skellies. Got you to commit to a actual fight. Ooh. Hi, hi. Your AI was weirdly better than. Oh, there's the executioner gloves. Than the actual original game. There's a, there's a certain level of irony to that. Got a dot of crows. Shortcut unlocked. Yeah, it goes up to five. So we have a max that weapon now on the right hand. Well, I've come back to here. Let's, uh, actually go after the Cleric Beast now. This is my back to my point. The crow is the most deadliest thing in the game. I'm assuming we can't summon help in this fight. Uh, you could obviously summon someone in the original one, but I'm not sure if that's even a mechanic in this game. Let me pop uh, some health. Some always topped off. Can't see. Want to be grabbed. Oh! Wow, you're you're actually easier than the original. That was even possible. It's interesting how the hunters have gone harder. But you all have gone considerably easier. Hmm. So we have more insight. Let's open this door. What are you offering me for giving you blood echoes? Yeah, why not? Something changed above ground? Uh 
Oh, I made everything respawn. At least that's how I'm interpreting it. I think it literally just like, it lets us theoretically farm infinitely? As long as you have the echoes for it? Well, here is a big fiery rock. Oh, what the? They were not that deadly in the original. Yeah, they're literally like, they're non-stop. Do a lot more damage, too. Okay, we need to open up the shortcut. We already know we can circumvent the bridge, so you don't have to go down the bridge. Got peel off, got peel off. Deadliest enemy in this game is the camera. <laughs> the camera controls are worse. And you can stun even this. Double barrel shotgun, OP.
The night grows deep. Lanterns are gone. Werewolf's gone too. Oh, there's nothing but rocks here. Is... is this the end, or did you sneak some kind of weird... special boss? Wait, what? Um... you're giving me items to handle... going insane. Oh, no. You did not... You... Oh no. Oh no. You... Developer, you did this. Maybe we we're allowed to boss, God! It suddenly became a survival horror game. <laughs> no, no, I'm not dealing with that. No, no, no. I do have a sewer key. Right? Uh, why are the rats? Super rats? Oh my god. Oh my god, super rats. I don't know how strong they are. They could be really weak or they could be like really hardcore. I'm just trying to get some, like, ground to somewhere safe that's not near the damn Winter Lantern. Well, I know the Winter Lanterns are all over the place now. Everyone's covered in blood. I mean, you're stronger, but not, like, crazy stronger. But aside from the Winter Lantern, what's my objective around here? Oh no, there's more than one. They're, they're a regular enemy. They're everywhere. La la la. La la la. There's a lot of werewolves that weren't here before. We spend less time howling and more time attacking.
So the question is, is this just like a cool thing where it's like, oh, haha, the world's like harder to deal with now? Oh my god. Run, 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 my friend. Run, my friend. Oh. We are not equipped to handle Frenzy. Where's this one at? Oh, so one thing is, you don't store excess blood vials or bullets, so it's like, it's pretty much use them or lose them. Once you hit 20. That's weird. Never seen that before. It's blood on the... Well, I think you became a werewolf, maybe, in the... Later on in the game, yeah, but like... Yeah, that's... That's, uh... Note is barely legible, as if the writer was in a blink of losing control. Kai Hunter, please forgive me, I have one final request. It's a little cool that they added um, a whole new uh, little saga. But how bad this saga is going to be, I don't know. I, for, for all we know, it's it's going to be harder than, say, any of the harder bosses in the original Bloodborne. Because the way the controls are and the the graphics and the kind of data you're receiving from the graphics a little bit. It is harder, in my opinion. Let's go back. They've had some kind of whole, like, survival horror section in the game. Rain? Well, you guys are never too bad. Second floor key. It's been a month since I was administered Yarnum's covered in blood and was whisked away this parsonage. It shows evidence of past residents who I assume were also outsiders injected with blood. As now I am alone here, no one is going to check up on me. I'm getting a suspicion that they are waiting for something to happen. I met the last one in the night of the hunt. They seem kind. Which would be me. You know, me being kind. Okay. It's probably the second floor key? Yep. Oh! 
Just get out. Just get out. You got me. You got me on that one game. I'll give you credit on that one. Yeah, that's, that was no good. Did you spawn? Okay, we're on the second floor. a boss there. Yeah, it's like a nice little like survival horror section. Almost like a Resident Evil nod. What the? Oh no, my friends. Just quick silver bullets. <laughs> so not too worth it. No, I have no idea what we're going to be facing. Like, this is, you know, this is all new territory. Well, exciting. I mean, I just see a very angry werewolf strapped down. I suppose this could be a werewolf boss fight. Gilbert the Outsider. Nothing's going on yet.
You're gonna get all hardcore on me, aren't you? Can you attack from this way? Not really. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, hey! That's good to know. I feel like we're gonna need that. And you can be knocked down. So you're... I mean, well, we don't know. You have another name on our face. Um, you're extremely fast. And by fast, you essentially really do the anime teleport. You are not hyper-aggressive, but you hit like a truck when you do hit. Now let's do this. The double barrel shotgun's gonna get key in this, because it does stun you. Oh, I need the, uh... And you're not too aggressive. You just slowly approach and then you high eye. But you're not even at a half health bar yet. So. Pull out, pull out. Reload. Heal up, so I'm always at full health. In case, because you pull out strong hits. Good, that was a good run. Now this is more... Great. Pop this. So that way I have plenty of ammo. Because if we get in a pinch, I'm going to start spamming that double barrel shotgun for those final hits. I want you in the hallway. Less room for you to dodge. Get ready to dodge! Pull out, pull out, pull out. I got too greedy, too greedy! Pull, 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 out, 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 out. out. Okay, save the rest of our healing items for healing. Come on, Gilbert. 
Come on. A little closer. Don't commit. Don't commit. Don't commit. Slaughtered. Whew. Not that bad, actually. Just coming off guard right off the bat. That might be the end of this. You're actually going to give all the programmers and credits for the original Bloodborne. I just want to show this menu here, because this is really cool. The amount of options here. So you can cap the FPS. You can have differing on and off. You can all the stuff. You can mess around with the resolution scaling. You have artificial limiters to purposely emulate the hardware. I'm going to keep the load limiter off, because no one likes long load times, even when you're trying to emulate an old game. And look at all this going down here. Like, there is a lot of... There's more options on this than some emulators or some ports of old games. I mean, it just keeps going. That is amazing. So that's it for Bloodborne PSX. Uh, it's, it's very well done. I mean, you gotta give it a lot of credit. It's, uh, it's a little bit harder than Ritual. Uh, I think I might wouldn't do my play for a little bit because it has some. First off, it's a little more noisy in visuals. Uh, some of the animations of how when they take hits, they enemies don't quite react the same way. They they don't really have much of a hit stun. They'll usually commit to their full attack, which I think is why the crows and some of the other enemies are very deadly, like the dogs. Sometimes the enemy's AI outright bugs out and doesn't do anything, so it's not completely perfect, but I suppose if you were to say, oh, this is a faithful PlayStation game, then a lot of PlayStation games played like that. The bug is the feature, in a weird way. Uh, mobility feels... it's very similar, but a little off somehow. And the guns felt weird. At least the pistol felt weird, like it was a little off. But, but then you get the double barrel shotgun, and the double barrel shotgun is a complete beast. So, a little quirky. A little quirky in the weapon balancing. I can see where they might have rearranged certain things around a little bit, stat-wise, in the weapons too. I think to make certain stats better than they were. But once again, like I said, it's a uh, faithful thing. There's a lot of options, a lot of tweaking. Graphically, looks pretty good for trying that that do that style. And the new unique area and boss fight was actually uh, it fit the vibe of Bloodborne. Maybe not for like an end game boss, but for like an early game boss, it you know definitely had. The I like the gimmick where it was kind of breaking out and 
tearing open its uh its uh thing the 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 bed it was tied to. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Bloodborne PSX. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.